up YouTube, this is Pizza Science here. Today I'm going to be doing a knife video. Yes, a knife video. I believe this is my second knife video that I've ever done. I don't really do a whole heck of a lot of these. Um, I am really fascinated by knives. I do have quite the interest in knives. But I'm just, I'm not really, I wouldn't really call myself a knife nut. Uh, I just find them interesting and I do watch a lot of the, uh, you know, a lot of Cutlery Lovers videos and all that jazz, so I do know a little bit about knives, but I mean, you know, I'm still, I would consider myself definitely a knife noob, <laughs> but, um, anyways, alas, I'm going to be doing a knife video. So, what we are looking at today is obviously a Kershaw, and yes, let's go ahead and let's get into this. Um, this one specifically is the Kershaw Leak, as you can see. And I got this thing in orange. I cannot wait to see this thing in person, man. So, yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and let's just crack this thing open. This thing has seriously been killing me um, for quite a while now. So let's go ahead and let's check this out. Uh, I did order this on uh, Amazon. And I actually... There's a service that Amazon offers for students called Amazon Student, and uh, I wasn't made I was not made aware of this until I actually placed this order. And uh, since I am a college student, I uh, decided that I would go ahead and enroll in it. Uh, Amazon Student is basically exactly like Prime. Um, good gosh, except that you can't. Uh, it doesn't really have like any of those um, movie streaming features and whatnot. So that's really the only main difference. But it costs like half as much as, as actual Amazon Prime does, and I am getting this, but it's like, not working. Um, here we go. I might have something here. Boom! Check it out. Alright, let's check, crack this thing open. I have been really waiting to get this. So I did get the uh, two-day shipping on this. I ordered this direct from Amazon as a result. Oh, oh crap, it wasn't in video. Dang it. Let's do that again. Alright, ready? Oh my gosh. Check that thing out. Let's set that down for the time being. That is actually a really nicely sized knife. And there's actually a funny story about this that I'll get to in a little bit. Um, <laughs> yeah, here we have a little catalog showcasing some of Kershaw stuff. I did watch a couple of videos on the leaks yesterday, so I already kind of knew what to expect in terms of the packaging. Woo! Look at this. Look at this massive catalog. Identifying the part. Oh, nice. Uh, like I said, I am a knife newbie, so, but uh, I, I think I actually do know enough about the anatomy of a knife that uh, I don't really need that. Um, this, is, it's sort, this is sort of just a in general guide, although I, I think they, um, I'm not really sure if, uh, if this is just coincidence or not, but they did, I think that is a leak right there. So, I don't know if this is like different for, if like this panel alone is different. Um, I'm not really, because that's definitely not the knife I have. That is a thumb, that is a, uh, a nail nick right there, so I'm not really sure, but this is definitely a leak. Um, anyways, let's just, screw that, let's get this thing out of here, man. I'm trying to handle this thing in person for a while now. And I really need to, like, adjust the camera angle, because I keep, like, going off frame and whatnot. But I did, um, adjust the white balance on this, so you could get as, tr as close to the true color of this as possible, and this looks pretty dang accurate. I mean, yeah, pretty much. Uh, obviously, it's going to look kind of, the reflection on this is going to be a little bit, I guess, yellow in the in the video. To me, it, this is just plain and simply a hot orange color. I love this thing. Um, man, this is really cool. Let's go ahead and let's flip this open. It does have a flipper, and uh, I think that lock would be engaged, wouldn't it? Yep, let's flip that out. And then we make sure everything's out of the way and foosh. Nice. Oh man, this oh dude, this is nice. <laughs> it does have that um that satin finish on it. So that is very cool. As you can see right there, this is uh model one zero zero six or O R. I'm guessing that stands for orange. Let's get the lanyard out of the way. I do not want to cut that. Um patented and uh, Ken Onion design, so pretty cool. And yeah, yeah, on this side I think, oh, it's plain. So let's go ahead and let's see. The one thing I don't like about this, I'm, I'm not really the biggest fan of like liners and whatnot, in my opinion. I mean, really? Liners? Up, oh, up. Oh. 
Now, as I say, I am a knife newbie, so this is gonna, this is kinda scary. <laughs> uh, give me time, I will get used to that. But yeah, since this is, uh, well, this is really my third knife, actually. Uh, funnily enough, I did actually lose my knife when I was gonna open this up. So, yeah, it's kinda funny, I was looking for a knife so I could open this knife. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is definitely pretty sick. Nice pocket clip on there. Um, I don't really know if how often I'm gonna be carrying this. Um, really, I don't actually have that many uses, uh, for knives, but, I. It's, I mean, we'll see. I, I don't know if I'll carry this around with me or not, but, I mean, I might a little bit. I mean, might as well, right? I do own it. <laughs> um, but, dang, check that out. These orange scales, guys, I gotta make sure that I'm staying in frame here. In fact, let me uh, adjust the tripod here a little bit. Here we go. This way I don't need to crouch down so much to get the shots in, because uh, I had the tripod a little bit low. But these orange scales here are actually made of aluminum, which, in my opinion, is really quite sick. Uh, these do have thumb studs on them. Let's see. Uh, eh. Like I say, it's going to take me a little bit to get used to this thing because I don't. I never really. Uh, oh dang, that was out of focus. <laughs> I don't really have a lot of experience with knives and whatnot. Like I say, I, I only have like two case knives, which are slip no, slip joints. But man, that is nice. Um, dang. So. Here's the thing. If you want to get this knife, uh, get it from Amazon, all right? Now, like I say, I ordered this directly from Amazon, uh, mainly because I just didn't really feel like, you know, I didn't really feel like risking it and going with an unknown seller. Uh, a lot of the sellers that I did recognize, uh, I had heard some iffy reviews about, so I just decided to stick with Amazon themselves. And uh, personally, I am quite glad that I did. Um, and, uh, yeah. But, you know, I could have maybe gotten it a little cheaper had I, you know, bought, bought from another seller. But really, I was all, I figured that if I do do that, I'm only going to be saving like two bucks because there's really a two, like a two dollar difference uh, between the sellers. So Amazon was like 41 bucks and then all the other ones are like 39 bucks, whatever, you know what I mean? So, bam. And plus, if I had gone with another seller, I wouldn't have gotten that free two day shipping. So, there is that. So, very, very cool. Very, very cool indeed. Um, it does have a little thumb stud there. That is going to take a little bit of getting used to uh, as well. Let's go ahead and let's flip that lock up. And uh, nice. So when you have that lock flipped up right there, uh, obviously it's not going to open. So that's what that's for. So we pop that down. And whoosh. That's very, very nice. It does kind of feel like it wants to, you know, it would want to fly out of my hand when I open it. But uh, I do feel like I have a nice grip on it. So very beautiful. Very, very beautiful indeed. Let's see. Can I get this shot one-handed? Oh, jeez, no. That's going to take a little bit of getting used to, like I say. Um, I'm not... Uh, yeah, like I say, I'm, I, <laughs> I don't have a whole heck of a lot of use uh, of experience with folding knives, so... But I just decided to get one. Let's try... I'm actually a lefty, so... Okay, that is, like, infinitely better, but the problem here is, is that now I have to do that. So, yeah, I'm, I mean, obviously, when I'm playing with it with my right hand, I'm going to train my right hand. You know, my right hand is naturally going to get used to doing it, so then I'll be more of a right-handed knife user anyway, so... I mean, here's an example. Let me get this out. Uh, if I can find it. Aha! For instance, um, well, this doesn't really have a thumb stud on this side, but... Uh, if this did have a thumb stud on this side, uh, that would probably be an awkward movement, as opposed to that. I haven't played with this thing in a while, so... But yeah, I did actually get used to opening and closing this thing one-handed, so... Um, yeah, it's been a while since I played with it, though. You can see that blade is rusted. Uh, this is a uh, little utility knife I got at Sears, if you're curious. But now I have this thing, and I am stooped. Um, so the funny story that I was going to tell you guys is that... Um, well, I think it's funny, personally, but... Here's, the, here's how I actually heard about this knife. Well, here's how I thought I heard about this knife. Um, yeah, let me actually get you a, a better shot of this, just so I can talk and not... Have to keep it in focus. Every Thursday morning, me and a group of guys, we uh, get together and we actually go to Panera for breakfast at around like 7 a.m. And uh, we basically just talk and it's actually more of a Bible study type thing, so we do talk about that and whatnot. But <clears throat> um, at the end of it, or at the end of the first one of the year, if that, that's, that was horrible, but um, the first one that we did this year at the end of it, um, a friend of mine um, actually pulled out a knife and... Like I say, I'm not really the biggest knife person, but I do get excited when someone that I'm talking to, you know, pulls out a knife. I'm, then I get curious about what it is. 
Um, just because I do have an interest in knives. Like I said, I'm, I'm not really going to be a knife collector anytime soon. But when he pulled it out, I asked him if I could look at it. And my gosh, did that thing feel very nice. And I was trying to figure out what kind of knife it was. I did see that it was a Kershaw. And amazingly, I was able to guess that it was a leak. So I asked him if it was a leak. And he said that it was, that, you know, that it was a leak. Um, but... You know, now that I'm looking at this thing and uh, thinking about that knife, that knife was much smaller. Uh, I think he actually had a scallion. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure it's a scallion. That's a small one. So, yeah, he had a, a, an all-blacked-out scallion. Uh, I think it even had the aluminum scales, although it could have been G10. I'm not really sure. But, yeah, very, very nice knife. I am actually going to say that I'm definitely still happy with this thing. Uh, I like this uh, sort of larger size. I don't want to chop the thing on my bed there. But... Yeah, definitely is a nice, nice one. So, I, I guess I ordered the wrong knife, but I don't really care. I, I Like I say, I, I think I really do like this one better. So, yeah. Alright, so to end this video off, let's go ahead and let's do a, uh, a little bit of a cut test, just because I want to see how sharp this thing is. Uh, I brought a few things to use. For instance, we can go ahead and let's use the box that it came in. Uh, as I said, um, Amazon Student is so similar to Amazon Prime that they basically just use Amazon Prime boxes <laughs> and Amazon Prime tape. So, funnily enough... Let us go ahead and let's flip that up and uh, flip this out. Again, that, that does take a little bit of effort, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. And uh, let's just see how easily this um, cuts through this. So Nice. I don't really want to cut through cardboard much, though, because I do hear that's really bad for knife edges and whatnot. So that's really all I'm going to do about that one. Uh, I do have a little bit of notebook, notebook paper out, though, so... Let's go ahead and let's get a bit of that out. Notebook paper is a little bit thinner, obviously, than standard printer paper, so let's rip it out of the notebook. And let's try this one out. So, hold it like that. Like I say, I am a lefty, so I'm... Oh, baby. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. That was nice. That was... That's insane, man. Oh, you can't even see that. This is insane. Oh my gosh. I have to stop that right now. Otherwise, I'm going to... Oh my jeez. Uh, that's ridiculously sharp, guys. Uh, to me, at least. Like... Urgh. Oh jeez, I hate this. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to... Like I say, I've been saying, I'm going to have to play around with that a little bit. See if I can figure out how to do that properly. Um... But, wow, that is ridiculous, guys. Dang, that is insanely sharp. I really am a big fan of this knife. Um, the thing is, is that if you get this on Amazon, um, even if you order directly from Amazon, you're still going to save about 50% off on this thing because this, this knife is an $80 knife, guys, okay? This is an $80 knife. I got it through Amazon themselves for 40 okay? For 40 bucks. That's ridiculous. And uh, I have no regrets, guys. <laughs> I love this in orange. When I, as soon as I saw the orange, I was like, you know, I literally, right after that breakfast, I got on Amazon and was just browsing to see what all kinds of leaks they had. And um, a few days later, I was searching again and I stumbled across this orange one. And man, I just, I knew that this was going to be the one that I got. I love this thing in orange. All right, guys, uh, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all for watching and adios. Thank <laughs> you.